What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with another season and a brand spanking new airport in Airport CEO. Now this has by far been the number one, number one requested series that I bring back on the channel. So here we are, we're going to start off, uh, start off a brand new airport. And what I think we're going to do, we're going to start off pretty small. Now let's go ahead, we're going to do first name, no, last name, Slack. <laughs> face uh we're gonna go do a guy this time uh which we did the first time as well whoa vampire looking dude right there um let's see here looks good hairstyle <laughs> we can really just do the two hairstyles left to right or right to left we'll do uh left to right i guess hair color hmm i don't think we really need to get too picky with this but you know what we'll do like a darker brown skin color is fine you know what all that is perfectly fine let's go ahead and continue on now where oh where are we gonna do our airport where oh where are we gonna start our airport hmm kind of interesting that none of these names show up over here that is a uh, quite peculiar uh, oh, there we go Wellington Auckland Melbourne Sydney nice 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 a lot of the uh, a lot of the Australians would be happy if we did an airport in Australia. You know what? I'm thinking, why don't we? Uh, we've got Melbourne, we've got Sydney, Canberra right there in the middle, Gold Coast over here, Brisbane. Ah, interesting, interesting. Perth over there on the west coast of Australia. I mean, you know what? I'm guessing. And I've never been to Australia, but I'm guessing that Brisbane. And Melbourne would already have pretty uh, well obviously Sydney as well uh, those three towns or cities would already have a pretty well established airport uh, Perth as well now what if we did something like in the middle or maybe what if we did something over here for the northern uh, tip of Australia because right now it doesn't seem like there's really all that much going on over there now I don't know how populated the uh, northern part of Australia is but I'm thinking that might be kind of a smart thing to do why don't we go ahead and do that? Um, like right here would be pretty nice. Let's do something like that. Confirm that location. We're going to go. We're not going to name it Australia or anything like that. We are going to do the uh, hmm. Slacksville. Uh, I think uh, was Slacksville what we named the um, the town in Austria. Slacksville uh, International. And then our uh, three-letter code is going to be S, I, and I kind of want to, let's see, can we do K? Like, sick, like Slacksville International, um, I guess, Sia, <laughs> Sia the singer. We could do something like that. Uh, Slacksville International Airport, Slacksville International um, Launch Pad, Slacksville International... Core. Oh man, you know what? We're gonna just have to go with Sia, I guess. Slacksville International Airport. Sia. Yeah. You know what? And we're, what we're gonna do here, and I think this just changes the money, right? We'll start with two million. We'll start with one million. We'll start with five hundred thousand. Then extreme. Oh wow. Okay. You know what? We're gonna go with moderate. Now we're gonna start off with a million bucks. Now what I want to do is we're gonna start off our airport. Um, pretty basic. I think what we're gonna do in this first episode, we're just gonna pretty much build like a little mini terminal. Obviously, we're going to, uh, <laughs> dear no. <laughs> it's like, oh dear no. We hired this guy to run the airport. <sighs> Alright, I guess. Um, anyways. Yeah, got it. Thank you very much. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, same as usual there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool, whatever. Got it. So, pretty much uh, nothing has changed from the last time we played. Basic little road coming in, and we've got our little unloading point for our construction workers as well as for all of our uh, supplies, right, like our building supplies. Now, I think I'm going to want to do something a little different, even though, even though we are doing uh, a smaller airport. Now, when I say smaller airport, I'm thinking we're going to do something like a few, uh, let's pause the game for now. Uh, we're going to do a few of the um, small gates, like the general aviation. Uh, we're going to need a small runway for that. 
Uh, obviously, we're going to need the taxiway foundations and all that stuff, but we're going to focus on just the small stands for now. Um, and then gradually, we're going to upgrade because we do only have the one million dollars. So I don't want to risk going bankrupt or losing all that money and then having to shut down Sia before it even really, you know, takes off. Um, so, let's see, how are we going to do this? I'd kind of like to leave, I mean, we have to kind of uh, plan for the future as well. What I'm thinking we're going to do is we're going to try to leave the northern and the western uh, sides for our, like, runways. And then we're going to focus mostly on just doing uh, something very basic over here. Um, now, what if we did something like this? We're going to go to uh, the roads. Um, public road. Uh, it's the same cost, right? Yeah, 100 bucks. Same cost. Okay, good. Uh, so we can come over here. And then maybe just extend this out this way. Um, I don't want to spend too much money. I want to be a little... A little cautious here and I know we're gonna have to do uh, hire all the construction workers and all that stuff I'm just kind of doing this for planning because as if I remember correctly we have no planning tools uh, as of right now we could toggle some of this stuff over here but there is no actual like planning stuff kind of like in prison architect so we kind of have to actually do this uh, manually with um, with the roads and all that stuff so I can have a little road there and again, it's going to be a smaller airport, so we're not going to need anything super crazy. That being said, uh, we're defi definitely going to need a bus drop-off. Without a doubt, 100% going to need one. Now, the buses are going to come in um, from the top. Right, they're going to use this road to come in. Um, what if we did that right there? Um, we could do... Could we do one right there? We could. I'd kind of like to leave that open. Um, you know what, let's maybe do one right here. And then we can leave that open. Two, two. We can do, let's do another road over here. That is going to be for our car drop off. And then this is going to be where it's kind of maybe something like that. And I, I think I've got this going how I want it. Now we're going to want to do the bus right there. Uh, for now, we're just going to do the car drop-off right there. And then, let's have the road coming back. Uh, let's see, one, two, yeah. We're going to have the road come back over here. Uh, I think that's that's going to work for us for now. Not going to go, like I said, not doing anything crazy. Just starting off with like a basic, very, very, very basic uh, little airport. Now, so that's going to work right there. Um, we're gonna have to do crosswalks and all that fun stuff. They're gonna come over here. Now, I think I'm gonna want them to, uh, have the little sidewalk to walk on, right? So the foundation, uh, we're gonna do just a very basic foundation. And I think we're gonna do... Let's do something like this. It can start over... Here. And we're gonna want, uh, we're gonna want, like, security. We're going to have to have the ticketing desks, right? We're going to have to have ticketing. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seems about right. Let's do something like that for now. It's going to cost us $7,000. And now I think it's time to actually hire some of these construction workers. We're going to have to go to contracts, right? Um, economy. Contracts. Uh, building small. Let's see uh, 51 contractors nine dollars and 30 cents an hour. We can do that We can do that. No problem. That being said we can go to operations construction and we will deploy um, Let's 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 be cautious. Let's just do 10 contractors for now Now obviously those guys are gonna come down. They're gonna help us start building our little airport Right should get dropped off over here any second Good, good, good. Everything seems to be working fine. There are the uh, the contractors. There are the items magically getting unloaded. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Good. These roads are going to take a little bit of time. They're going to do the bus stop, the, uh, the car drop-off. All that stuff is going to be just fine and dandy. Now, we could probably hire a few more, but again, we've already spent $20,000 of our $100,000 that we have available. So, you know... We'll, we'll be cautious here. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, you know, start going all crazy, spending money that we don't uh, really want to invest in uh, in labor. 
Uh, I, I want, I'd much prefer spending that $980,000 on the actual foundation and the actual equipment that we're going to need. Because we're going to need a lot of equipment, right? We're going to need the taxiways, the runways, the, uh, the hangars, uh, the fuel depots. We're going to need all this stuff. I mean, it's, it's not going to be cheap. So, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely want to uh, kind of, you know, not have to waste too much money on manual labor. Now, we are looking decent over here. Uh, this is almost done. They're going to start working on that foundation here pretty soon. Now, we're going to decorate this nice. We're going to do some concrete. We're going to do some trees, some bus shelters, all that good stuff is all going to be implemented. It's just a matter of time, like I said. Uh, slowly but surely, we will start building. We will uh, make this airport hopefully fully operational here in the first episode. Uh, if not, then by the second episode, we should start getting in some actual uh, uh, general aviation airlines. Now, I'm not 100% sure when we're going to go off of the general aviation. Maybe it'll be episode 2. Maybe, maybe it'll be episode 6. Who knows, you know? Like, we, we're definitely going to try to build an international airport that's going to have multiple, multiple gates. But for now, we just have to get this airport profitable. We haven't even hired really any airport staff yet. All right. They're knocking that out. However, very slowly, but they are knocking it out. Maybe could have done a few more contractors, but you know what? I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's plan here a little bit. We are going to do the sidewalks. Now, the sidewalks are... Let's see. A crosswalk? Yes. Sidewalk. Definitely going to need those. Um, I think I'm going to want to have the sidewalk... Something just so we're not spending that much money. We're gonna have the sidewalks going like that and then maybe like this Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay Let's hire a few more workers. Let's just speed this up a tiny little bit. We'll do five more contractors Not gonna break the bank hiring just five more contractors um, So good we have this going. Uh, they're laying the, the, uh, the sidewalk down. The foundation here is almost complete. I'd say it's about, what, 70% complete? Now, let's see. We could rotate this. Uh, let's do it like this. How are we going to design our little, uh, not terminal. This isn't really going to be the terminal. I mean, you know, it's going to be part of the terminal. But we're going to want to have the doors coming in. Uh, so let's see. Medium door, I think. Do we want to do a large door? Um, that's the sidewalk right there. We could do a door here. Or we could do a door here. I feel like this is better. A door here and here. Uh, we could always do the, uh, the information. Now, again, that's probably money that we shouldn't, uh, shouldn't waste right now. Is that structures? Infrastructures. I think that's infrastructures. Vehicle checkpoints. Um, small taxi foundation, yada yada yada, small stand, no, office desk, airport screens, but here we go, it's going to be over here, info desk, info desk, I'm thinking we could throw that over here, now, is that 100% necessary, probably not, uh, it is going to cost us $3,000, so you know what, we're going to hold off on that, because it is not of the, uh, the utmost importance as of right now. Uh, what is of the utmost importance is we're going to need the uh, the check-in desks. Now, these are going to be where uh, where they go to actually, you know, check their luggage, all that stuff. Now, we're probably not going to be doing luggage quite yet. Um, I'd like to have a nice little seating area over here. And then maybe have the, uh, the check-in desks over here. We could do... Yeah, you know what? I'd like to do, you walk in, there's the info desk, we can have like a nice little seating area over here, and then we could do the check-in desks like up here. Um, now what if we did like one, one there and one there. I think that would look decent. And then let's kind of, uh, you know what, 3,000 bucks, I think we can spare it. Let's do the info desk. Now this is going to be... Like right here, like right as they come in, they can go ahead and they can, uh, yeah, right there. Come in, go to the info desk, all will be well there. 
speed it up just a little bit just to get this foundation done over here. Now I'm thinking we're going to need restrooms. Uh, clearly, that's going to be like a, a big priority for us is getting those restrooms in there. Because one of the first things they want to do, obviously, when they come in is uh, you know, take a tinkle or whatever they have to do. Now, let's see. Let's get rid of this. Um, yes. Seating area. Hmm, I'm thinking... Seating area, I wanted to do it. You know, we could still do it over here. Uh, these cues can kind of go off to the sides maybe a little bit. We could do the seating area over here. And then maybe we could do like a men's room over here and then like a, a women's room over here. Let's try to get a little bit of a seating area going. Um, let's see, sofas. A little bit larger than I remember. Um... Maybe something like this. I mean, they're going to be... That's the workers. The workers are going to be right there. Do a seating area right there. A little seating area right there. And can't really do anything right there. Um, you know what we could do? Maybe, can we cancel these? How do we cancel? Uh, is it shift, right? Shift. If we do items, sofa, shift. Yeah, that'll cancel. Okay, good. Um, so I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're actually going to go like back to back. So we might do something like this. And this. And then we could do back to back as well. Beautiful. I think that'll work out actually pretty well right there. Um, now let's go ahead and do some armchairs. Now these are going to be good. Because we can kind of maybe put these like right here. Bang, bang. See, that's going to be where the uh, the information desk people sit or stand. Right, they're going to be like servicing uh, the customers, searching for extra information. Now we could maybe do something like this. Sofa there. Which that would be, you know what, that might be enough. That might be enough. We might not have so many. That's going to be what, 3, 6, 9, 12, 14 people. 14 people are going to be able to sit down. 14 people is generally going to be like one airplane's worth of people. Maybe like one and a half. Um, you know what, I think we're going to be fine with that. Let's keep that the way it is. Now, do we have game pause? No, it's just going very slowly. They're not building these sidewalks as fast as I'd like. But you know what, that's fine. That's fine. We're not going to rush them. We're not going to, you know, force them to work harder than they really want to. Not yet, at least. We still have $963,000, so we're fine. Mm, good, good, good. Yeah, plenty of sidewalk over here still needing to be fixed or, or constructed. But we're good here. Uh, now, like I said, we are going to want to do a restroom. Uh, we're also going to need offices, right? Uh, like a break room and all that stuff. Hmm... What I think we're gonna do, we're gonna try to do a restroom, uh, not not like a gender gender neutral restroom, but we are gonna try to just do a restroom uh, over here on the left side. Uh, let's see, walls. We're just looking for walls, structures, walls. Beautiful. All right. So as they walk in, we're gonna have let's see, maybe like urinals over here, walkway, walkway, sinks. So we're going to want the restrooms to be something like this. Now let's see, that's going to be one, two, three, four. Wall, one, two, three, four. So maybe, oh, see, that's a little. Um, I think we're going to have to go. You know what? That's going to be a small restroom. It's going to be a very tiny restroom. We'll just do three tiles there, three tiles there. That's not, not the best, not the best restroom, I'll admit. But you know what? It's going to have to do for now, especially considering it's going to be a very small airport. Uh, because we are going to have the queues over here kind of lining up. We might be able to uh, get away with having it like one square larger. We might not even really need the queues right now. Alright, you know what? I don't feel like, uh, I don't feel like that's big enough. Let's do four. And then one, two, three, four. So we're going to need the wall over here. Yeah, you know what? I got convinced. We're just going to make that a little bit larger. Mm, 
you know, we, I guess we could speed up time since it's taking them so long to build the sidewalk area. But, uh, yeah, they're going to get spit out over here on the bus stop and the other car parking or the, you know, car drop off. Uh, they're going to be able to cross the road, which uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do now uh, infrastructures crosswalk. Let's go ahead and put this right here. Um, we'll give them crosswalks here and here and then maybe even here and here. Yeah, let's do that. Damn. Good, good, good. I think that's going to be plenty. Uh, it's going to be fine. We're going to look solid. We're going to look really solid, as a matter of fact. Items. Uh, sinks. We are going to want to put... Must be placed inside the bathroom. Yes, I know. I know. Don't interrupt the master while he's working. Mm, what, is it not going to let me even build? Really? It's not going to let me build. Okay, fine. Let's designate it as an area then. Uh, bathroom. Room is too small. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Now, let's go ahead and put down what we want to put down. Right? Okay. So, let's see. Female. Let's do female over here. Uh, we're going to do the toilets. Oh, boy. Yes, this is going to be tricky. Um, let's do the two... Three, you know, we'll do the four, and then we'll do the sinks over here. One, two, and then we're gonna go ahead. Right, because washing your hands is a lot faster than the uh, using the restroom. We'll do that. We'll put a trash can right there, and then we can go ahead and put a door over there. And we're gonna essentially do the same thing here. Uh, let's do trash can. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do the sinks along this wall, just like in the female restroom. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna give them two of the stalls and then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna give them two of the urinals and that right there is gonna be pretty solid um, let's go ahead and do the door uh, just a small door nothing crazy bam and bam and then that should be good let's speed up the game again give them a little bit of a chance to uh, finish constructing that so this is our initial kinda like layout they're going to be going through the check-in desks, or to the check-in desk, then, then, uh, excuse me, then they're going to need to go through, like, uh, airport security. Now, hmm, maybe we should rotate these a little bit, put them up against this wall or something. I think that might actually look better. Um, yeah, you know what, that's what I want to do. Let's go ahead, um, <laughs> check-in desks. Items? Yep. Chicken discs. Oh, 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 oh. Bam. Take that off. And can we take that off now? I think that's going to tell them to deconstruct. Pretty sure it is. A few of the toilets are actually getting put in. Yeah, see, this is taking too long. The sidewalk. Let's hire a few more just for now. Just for now. Um, we'll do ten more. And then we're going to fire them here very, very soon. But uh, we're going to have them kind of just do this uh, finish-up job here on the sidewalk. It seems like the sidewalk takes a lot longer than I anticipated it taking. And we can make this sidewalk area over here look nice and pretty. We can do some, like, outdoor seating, um, some trees. It's going to look nice. It's going to look nice. Just don't want to invest the money in it right now. Now, hopefully they do deconstruct that. They should. I'm guessing because it's red like that means that they're going to deconstruct it. Crosswalks need to come in over here. This is all good. Sidewalks are almost done. Just waiting on a few of these guys to come up here. Still some toilets, some bathrooms uh, need to be finished installing. The sofas are a little seating area. And then I'm thinking we're going to do like a little... Not necessarily an office section. But over here we could do a... Um, like an office slash staff room kind of break room area section right there. Because the, the staff uh, is definitely going to need some breaks. And you should start working on the stuff here indoors very, very soon. Come on, guys. Knock this stuff out. Knock it out. Day two. Day two of year one of No Slack uh, International Airport. Or, sorry, Slackville International Airport. SIA, right? 
There's our little code identifier. Okay, good. So what we want to do is we're going to do the check-in desks, and we're actually going to rotate these guys like this. Um, let's do maybe something like that. And like that. Yes. That's how we're going to want it. Pretty positive. And then we're going to want to change these colors over here too. Like, what should be the airport colors? Um... Couches, I kind of like just like black, maybe some black or maybe even like gray or something. Um, let's see here. Kind of like gray. Ah, oh, no, come on, we're supposed to like save that. Like something like that? Yeah. There we go. Uh, and then this couch over here can be the same color. This, yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Now these could be maybe, oh, I don't know. Let's see, if we're doing gray over there, what if we did... Maybe just like a lighter gray? For now. For now, that's what we're going to go with. Good, what are you? Oh, no slack. There we go, okay. <laughs> so seating area is solid. Uh, we've got that in there. We've got the restrooms over here. We're going to want the breaks. Uh, why are you guys not constructing the check-in desks? Is that what you guys are doing over here? Probably. Now, we're going to leave these employees because we are going to extend this. Uh, we're going to have the check-in desks right there. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to need to do the security check, right? The security checkpoint. Uh, that's a large one. I'm thinking for now we're just going to want to do a small one. Um, now, what if we did... What if we did three? Like, if we did something like one, two, we want to make this symmetrical too, right? So two squares away from the check-in desk. Bam, bam, bam. That's two squares away. Uh, you know what? We don't need that many. So let's do, let's do four squares away. One, two, three. That's only going to be three squares. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Four. We could fit in four very, very comfortably. But I don't think, you know, we don't need to fit in four. Now, if we do, let's see. There. You know what? We're going to do that there and there, I think. And that's going to be, what, seven squares away? And that's going to be also seven squares away. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be where we want it. But we do have to extend the, um, the foundation just a little bit more. Uh, obviously we're going to have to extend the foundation quite a bit more. It's just that, um, for now, we don't really want to invest too much money. We, like, we're not going to build this grand old terminal for just, uh, you know, a few general aviation flights. Now, we are going to make it commercial. Uh, because we do want passengers actually coming in and using our airport. But, um, for the most part, uh, the general aviation flights are only going to have, you know, like something like between 6 and maybe 12 people per uh, per airplane. So, yes. Um, now, wall, let's go ahead and get rid of this sucker. We are going to demolish that. Good, 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 good. Now, I think we can actually install our little security. Um, we're going to have to classify something as a secure zone, though. So, over here, let's do just something like this. We'll, we'll label that as a secure zone. And now, that's going to allow us to put down that uh, security checkpoint. And we're going to do a small one, like we said. And we're just going to do something like... How does this need to be? Uh, yes, they're going to be coming in this way. Good, good, good. Bam. And bam, that is going to be good right there, I think. Uh, then if we do need to expand, we can always put one there and put one there. And then that'll be golden. We'll be, we'll be perfect right there. But for now, I think we're good. Now, we should probably build some sort of a wall, like a separator, so that people can just go, like, randomly across. You know what I'm saying? That wouldn't make too much sense now, would it? Um, if we do that... Uh, you know what, we're also going to need like an exit point. And we're definitely not going to worry about doing the, uh, the baggage claim or anything like that. I mean, I think we're going to have to do it. You know what, no, hold on, let's, let's check this out over here. Um, we could start researching some stuff. And then you know what, we are kind of wasting money. Let's, um, 
We have 25 deployed. That is costing us negative, ooh, negative 10,000 an hour? For what? Anyways. Um, procurement. We can't start working on that yet because we don't have the... Aviation fuel used by... Yeah, we do need that. We don't have the requirements. We need an aircraft stand. Okay, so we can't restart researching that. But, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We are going to need vehicles. We are going to need to hire a board. We are going to need to hire just regular old staff. Um, uh, dashboard. That's Is it dashboard? Is that what I'm looking for? Um, I want to go... To where we can no no open contracts. Yeah, we need an aircraft uh, traffic control air, uh, air traffic control tower too. Uh, I know that we need all that stuff. Um, hmm. So they're gonna go through security. They're gonna want to probably you know let's wait until they build these and then it'll kind of give us a reference for where we want to put down the wall. Let's do the wall. Ah, boy. Like this. Wall there. Wall there. And then I guess we can maybe just wall this off like this. Mm-hmm. I think that'll be fine. I think that'll be fine. But then, like I said, we are going to want to have these guys come out somewhere. Like, spit them out. You know, this is going to be the general aviation. And then they're going to come into the, like the little miniature terminal area, and then they're going to need to exit. Which, the exit will probably end up being over here. Um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Which means we're going to want to expand the foundation over here. We're also going to want to expand the foundation over here. Now, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm thinking that might be enough right there. Uh, you know, we're probably going to have to do one more set of tiles. So we'll do something like that. And then we're probably going to have to expand this like this as well. And then I think that's going to be it for, uh, for our building for, uh, like, the initial foundation area. I think we'll be fine right there. Walls going in right there. Excellent. We're going to have to demolish these walls right there. These two are going to be fine for now. And like I said, it's going to be a very, very, very easy expansion if we do need to get two more security counters. Uh, we can always demolish uh, these walls right here and just plop in two more. It's not going to be a big deal. It really, really, really isn't. Um, well, let's go ahead and get rid of the wall right here. We can actually get rid of these walls too. And you know what? Actually, those could be like our, our terminal bathrooms. That is definitely an idea. That is definitely something that we can do, as a matter of fact. Now, I'm thinking let's leave the wall right there. Let's delete this right here. Huh. Yeah, this is taking shape. This is taking pretty good shape. Now, again, I was going to say we could do the bathrooms over here, but then that would interfere with if we wanted to expand. So, I don't think we're going to do that. Mm, we're going to leave, you know what, let's do that, that, delete that, delete that. Now I think we're going to be pretty solid. I think we're looking pretty good. Terminal area, they can come over here, they can exit over here, which we're going to need the, uh, the security exits, right? Uh, bus shelter, car drop off, no, no, no. Security zone exit, that's exactly what we want. Now, must be placed inside a secure zone. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Secure zone. This is all going to be a secure zone. And then, um, you know what? Speed it up. That foundation area right there is done as well. Mm, last person. There we go. So, yeah, this whole thing over here is also going to be a secure zone. No one's going to be allowed in there. Uh, let's go ahead and just label that a secure zone for now as well. And then... Now we're going to want to put those secure exits. Must be connected to open zone. What? Alright, I guess this isn't going to be a secure zone. <laughs> um, okay. I guess we could do something like this. 
Mm. Okay, that should be good. Items, secure zone. Flip this bad boy around. Must be placed inside. Like, fully inside? Really? Okay, good. Ooh, you know what we're going to want to do? We're going to want to just put that right there. So if that goes there, you know, we're probably going to demolish that wall there. Yeah. Mm, it's going to be a little funky looking. Just a little bit. But you know what? We're going to have to do it. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to do the secure zone right here. And we're going to be nearing the end of the first episode, guys. Um, the first episode, maybe the first two episodes, are always the, uh, the most uneventful. Because we're just kind of establishing our area. But we're going to extend our secure zone there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to actually delete this wall that we have going on over here. And then I think we're also going to delete that foundation wall too. Now this is something that they should probably change up. Because I would love it if you could just do, like, if you're building something that has an existing wall, like the secure zone does, uh, they should make it to where you can just override the wall that is uh, currently in place. Y you see what I'm saying, guys? Okay, so the wall is gone. We can go ahead, we can throw that down right there. That's going to be good. We're going to want to put this one down over there. Just need them to, there we go. Beautiful. Bam. Now we're going to put a wall right down the middle, which... A little, a little weird, but you know what? We'll be fine. That is going to work. That is going to work really well. And now we have our little exit. Which, you know what? Mm, pause. I'm not 100% happy with that. If we do extend this, I'm just thinking, you know what? No. Items, security exits... Let's rotate that. We're not going to build that, and we're not going to build that. At least not right there. We're going to actually build it just a little bit lower. We're going to make it flush right there. Let's go back to the wall. Or we could just do bulldozer, I suppose. Four. Four. And then we should be good now. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's bulldoze that, too. Don't want that there. Okay. Secure area. And we're going to drop this down just a little bit further. And now, that's going to be a secure area there as well. Now, I think we're going to be good. We're going to be golden. Um, right there. And right there. Now, we're going to need to finish building this wall, or like reconstruct that wall, and then put the wall right there. And now we should be good. That is probably going to wrap up the first episode, guys. Uh, we've got our initial little uh, little area here, and it's not looking bad. Next episode, we're going to put down the uh, the taxiways, the general aviation stands, all that good stuff. But for now, we've got our just very basic little airport here. And you know what? We're also going to have to put down a door. Um, which I'm thinking a large door. Just do like one large door. That is not symmetrical. Not, uh, not how I want it. That, again, not. No, 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 no. Um, medium door, I guess. Let's just do two medium doors. Maybe do one right here and one right here. Yeah. That is going to look fine. That's going to look fine. I think we're looking good. I think we're looking good. Let's rotate it back. Um, yeah. I think we have pretty much everything we're going to need in place. We can maybe do like a little seating area here for now until we do an expansion. Or maybe we won't. Who knows? Uh, anyways, guys, thank you for watching the first episode of No Slack, uh, or sorry, Slackville International Airport. I'll get it right. It's called Slackville International Airport. See ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Anyways, guys, for now, I guess I'll see ya. See what I did there? Alright, thank you for watching. If you guys liked the video, do me a favor. Like the video if you're happy that uh, airport CEO is back on the daily, or maybe semi-daily, uh, you know, series, Let's Play series that we're doing on the channel. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot. Trying to get to 20,000 by the end of the year, which we're at really close to like 19,300. So we just need 700 more subs over the course of the next six weeks, and we'll be there. And maybe if I get to 20,000 by the end of the year, I'll give a giveaway of like an air, uh, airport CEO code or something like that. Uh, anyways, guys, again, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed the channel, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye.